Don't believe the myth that weight loss is all about diet and exercise. The real culprit might be your sleep. Did you get five hours of sleep or less last night? That flips hunger hormones. The leptin goes down, the ghrelin goes up. You feel hungrier, less satisfied, craving sugar, and the result, your body defends its weight. In the next few minutes, I will show you why this happens and give you three sleep fixes you could start from tonight. I am Dr. Almeri, a weight loss surgeon. If you want clear, science-based guidance, hit subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Let's start with your hunger hormones. When you sleep well, your body keeps two signals in balance. Leptin, the fullness hormone, it tells your brain you've had enough food. Ghrelin, the hunger hormone, tells your brain we need more food. But when sleep is cut short, the balance shifts. So the leptin drops, so your brain doesn't hear the message, I am full, the ghrelin rises, so you feel hungrier. You crave quick energy foods throughout the day, carbs, biscuits, crisps, that's why after a poor night's sleep, the biscuit tin looks irresistible. It's not weak willpower, it's your hormones nudging you to overeat. That's not a lack of discipline, that's ghrelin pulling the strings. And here is the punch. A landmark study followed more than 68,000 women for 16 years. The results were clear. Those who slept five hours or less were 15% more likely to become obese than those who were sleeping seven hours or more. 15% from sleep alone. That's how powerful sleep is. Now let's talk about cortisol. If you don't know it, cortisol is the main stress hormone in our bodies. It helps us cope with challenges. But poor sleep pushes your cortisol up, and this is the problem. Cortisol doesn't just make you reach for food, it also changes how your body handles sugar. So high cortisol will raise your blood sugar, and your body will react by pumping more insulin into the bloodstream in reaction to the high blood sugar. Insulin is the hormone that moves the sugar into your cells. But when that happens night after night after night, your cells stop listening to the insulin. They become less sensitive to that message from the insulin hormone. So the sugar lingers in the blood, insulin stays high, and your body flips into fat storage mode. Over time, that fat storage builds in your belly, the harmful type of fat that is packed around your organs. So poor sleep is not just about feeling tired. It's cortisol and insulin working together, driving cravings, raising your blood sugar, pushing calories into fat storage. That's how sleep disturbance defends a higher weight set point and why it might be an early step towards type 2 diabetes. So how do you fix your sleep? Here are three proven tips. First, keep a consistent sleep schedule. Go to bed at the same time, wake up at the same time, every day, even on the weekends. Don't allow commitments, going out, social events, mess up with your internal body clock. That internal body clock loves rhythm. And when it is steady, falling asleep and staying asleep gets easier. Second, control your light at night. Screens, phones, bright lamps, they all block melatonin. Melatonin is the hormone that tells your brain it's time to sleep. So dim the lights about an hour before bed and make your bedroom relatively dark. That kind of darkness, try to get it right so your brain resets naturally into the sleep mode. Third, build a kind of winding down routine. Your brain can't just jump from 100 miles an hour to sleep straight away within 30 seconds. Stretch, read, breathe, Give your body a signal that the day is finishing. Don't just jump from an intense work to bed. When your brain learns these patterns, falling asleep feels effortless. And remember, these changes are not just for comfort. These are the changes that will reset your hormones and help you bring your weight set point lower. So here is the takeaway. Sleep is not just about resting. It's one of the strongest levers you have to control your hormones and your weight set point. Fix your sleep and you fix leptin, ghrelin, cortisol and insulin. The very signals that drive hunger, cravings and fat storage. The role of good sleep on your weight and your general well-being cannot be underestimated. It restores your energy, it sharpens your mind and protects your long-term health. In the next video, we will cover another powerful factor that you can tackle one that helps you bring down the weight set point. If this video helps you, hit subscribe and share it with somebody who might benefit from it too. See you in the next video.